Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Real United States video blog. I'm your host Paul Campbell and I'm taking up my friends <clears throat> Sergei Pachugin and Sergei Baklikov's great egg challenge for making scrambled eggs. So that's what the reason for this video is. I'd like to say to Sergei and Sergei, Zdastucha, and uh, so now I'm going to scramble us some eggs. So I'll reach in here and grab us some eggs. These are brown eggs. And uh, get my pan hot. And I put a little butter in it. Sometimes I use oil, but I usually like to use butter. And I just need for that to get hot. While I'm doing that, I will scramble my eggs. A whisk. Now, oftentimes, people will add a little dairy to their scrambled eggs here in the United States. I know to uh, to give them, make them a little lighter. Uh, those that uh, have a, a dairy problem with dairy, lactose intolerance, might add a little water to them. Um, Personally, I like my eggs with a little more body, so I don't do that. And a good old cast iron pan. This pan is probably 80 or 90 years old. that in a moment. Bev and I have a great affinity for cast iron. You do have to be a little careful about the handles sometimes, so I have a pot holder here in case. And you have to have some patience. Cast iron heats up slowly but with a nice even heat. And it's impervious to everything. Well, except hot or cold shock. Bring that down just a little bit. It's interesting that you chose eggs. Eggs have the highest value of amount of protein per unit of weight of any food stuff. They are the standard by which protein in values are measured in food. They'd cook a little more quickly if I had a cover to put on this, but I was trying to do this in a hurry to respond to your great egg challenge. I think it was a pretty interesting idea that you had. I'm hoping to see other people from around the world put up their videos on how they scramble their eggs. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll, uh, we'll do frittatas that involve scrambled eggs and other stuff, but...
enough heat left in that cast iron to cook these, finish cooking these. If I had a bigger pan with more slope, I'd actually flip these, but I hope that you can see that those are in fact getting done. They're still a little moist on top, but I'm gonna get just for a few moments and while I'm doing that, I'll grab a plate. So we're ready there. My last two eggs. Yeah, that handle is starting to get a little warm. I just don't have the right kind of pan for flipping this, so. But they have, as you can see, set all the way through. Voila. Buen provecho. And thank you everybody for watching the Real United States video blog. Back to you, Sergey.